So today's video is going to be a bit shorter, but I want to cover a super important topic, that topic being the preload function and why it's super dangerous to use, in my opinion. That might come as a surprise to you because I know a lot of people like using preloads and export references for like packed scenes and things like that. And the big issue and what I'm showing here in my example is let's say I had my game one that I was loading into when the game starts, right? This is my first scene and inside of the scene, don't worry about the comment. I'm going to get to this in a second, but I have my scene one constant which is a packed scene and it's using the preload function to preload scene one. This is my game scene and it's loading a separate scene which is called scene one. But because I put a preload with a constant here, Godot is going to assume that my scene one, this file right here, is essentially a sub resource of my game scene. So when I initially load into my game, it's going to load this resource along with the game. So if I go into scene one, it's literally just a basic scene, but I've attached a script and you can see I have an export variable here, which is a reference to scene two. And scene two is also a packed scene. And what I've done is assigned another scene, which is scene two, as the value for this export variable. And Godot is gonna treat this the same way that it did with the preload. So when we load the game scene now, which is our first scene, it's gonna load scene one along with the game. And because scene one has this export variable, which is scene two, it's gonna load scene two as well. And all of a sudden we have a chain of scenes or resources that we're loading. And and Godot is going to try to load that entire chain immediately when the game starts, which that's typically going to create stutters. And you obviously don't want a big stutter when you open up the game because that could potentially freeze the game. So I'm not going to cover a ton of like the nitty gritty on how you should manage your resources because that is kind of an abstract topic that varies between projects. So this video acts as more of like a warning to just be careful with preload. And I'm sourcing a lot of my information from this amazing document by the Duriel, so I'll link this in the description. All the credit goes to this guy for making this amazing document, and I'd recommend reading through this quick if you wanna know like the exact order that Godot does load its resources if you're not familiar with that yet. But there are some takeaways that I wanna mention, and he actually lists them here. So in general, if you're preloading something, it should be a smaller file. So something like my level example in this case. If this was a level scene, and it had like enemies and a player and all sorts of like objects inside of it, that's not exactly a small file, I would not want to preload that. I'd want to use a different method for loading. That would be either calling the load function at a different time in the game, or even using threaded loading, which is typically recommended. Threaded loading is something you can do with the resource loader class, and it's basically going to load the resource across multiple threads. So because it's not blocking the main thread, it's typically going to prevent stuttering or freezes, which would be ideal for larger files like this. And then the Duriel also mentions that named classes should not use preload. This is because because Godot will actually call preload on a named class when the engine like compiles your game because it's a named class. And same thing for auto loads. As soon as they actually enter the scene tree, they're going to be calling those preload functions, which is basically loading all of their bundled resources together. Also the main scene, which is the first thing that we load the game into should not have preloads because you could potentially be loading way more than you have to. So for basic scenes like this, I actually have a video that covers how to implement a threaded loading system for like levels and such that I would actually recommend doing where you typically load into like a smaller scene, like either a title screen or a splash screen. And then you use this threaded loader to essentially load your larger files or your larger level scenes in the background and only instantiate them when they're ready, obviously. But in general, it's good to just stay away from preload for any like initial objects, unless the thing that you're preloading is very, very small. And another misconception is that preload and load are different. They are slightly different, but in general, they're both going to load a file and they're both going to store it in memory. And that loaded file, because we're dealing with Godot, is going to be kept in memory until nothing has a reference to it. But in general, they do basically the same thing. So like this comment I have here is something I've kind of been playing around with. I don't know if I'd recommend this system, so I would love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comments. It'd probably be better to just do something like this in a resource manager, which I haven't checked this out either, but he does recommend or provide, I guess, a custom resource loading implementation that he's created. So you could always check that out. With this static variable implementation, I would have my scene one variable, just like we had with the constant, and I would just initialize it as null, because later on, whenever we access this variable, the first time we access it, I'm basically gonna check if it's not null, then we're gonna load a file into it. And obviously this wouldn't account for unloading the file, because this is a static variable, you'd technically have the same issue with caching that a preload has. But I would kind of just take this concept to 
to apply to the loading in your games. You don't need a file to always be loaded. You only need to load a file when you actually need to instantiate it or access it, which is something that's, again, like I said, going to vary across different systems. But in general, I would recommend using the load function in different places nine times out of 10. So that's it for this video. Again, if you want to check out the threaded loaded video I made, I'll link that in the card in the description. I think it does have a couple issues, so I'm planning to remake that one. But let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this information. I feel like it's going to be a kind of controversial video, so I'm interested in hearing your guys' arguments and the pros and cons of what I explained in this video because honestly, I didn't know this until like a few months ago. So I figured I'd bring it to your attention. Um, quick shout out to all the channel supporters. If you are a YouTube channel member or on Patreon, I just want to say thank you guys so much for your support. It is greatly appreciated. And then exclusive shout out to Denied Works for being the only groundbreaking Godower. With that, uh, join the Discord and thank you for watching the video. I will see you guys in the next one.